What's going on guys? It's your boy Scrub here back again with another video. Hope you guys are having a great day. I know I am. Today I've got a story time I've been saving for a bit about a super Karen that I encountered at the very end of my days working at a grocery store. Uh, this lady ended up going crazy over something I've literally never seen anyone get upset about. Literally crying over spilled milk and ended up punching out my manager because we uh, didn't have a store policy for what to do with like literal spilled milk on the ground to donate it. But uh, regardless, I figured it'd be a pretty entertaining story. Story, so without further ado, let's go. All right, so as I said, this is my encounter with Super Karen, which was basically an amalgamation of all that is Karen, you know, just trying to cause as many problems as possible, trying to get everyone in trouble. And this entire interaction started on a pretty busy day right before Easter. You know, any holiday that we had at a grocery store, it would tend to get absolutely nuts right before the holiday. Everyone's trying to get their food, and as a result, there was a lot more spills, and I ended up getting called to a spill in the back. Aisle. When I get to the back aisle, my manager was kind of standing by the spill. It was my favorite manager I worked with, and you know, since it's busy, he didn't want to take a chance of someone getting hurt, so he had put down a wet floor sign, but was going to stand there while I mopped it up just to tell people to avoid it, so that way nothing happened, because it was just so busy. And the spill itself was no big deal. It looked like somebody had just kind of like done gallon smashing, which for some reason was a stupid trend where people would like smash milk on the ground. I don't really understand why that was a trend, but yeah, for like, you know, a little bit of a period when I worked at this grocery store. Some kids would come in, smash milk on the ground as a joke, and run out, and like, it's really not that big of a deal, it's more annoying than anything. But I'm just kind of cleaning up this milk spill while my manager is standing there, and he's just kind of telling people like, hey, watch out, there's liquid, don't fall, blah 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 blah, and I kind of zone out and just start mopping because I know my manager's there, so I shouldn't have to talk to any customers, right? And as I'm literally spilling up spoiled milk or spilled milk, I hear an angry voice say something like, what are you doing, wait Wasting the milk. And we were near the dairy section, obviously, that's why the milk was here, so I didn't think that they were talking to me, you know, like, I'm not wasting anything, I'm cleaning something up off the floor, so I just didn't even register that, like, the person could possibly be talking to me, you know? It was kind of my job to mop up spilled things, I didn't consider it wasting to pick up stuff that had been on the floor, but that's when I hear it again, like, what are you doing, you're wasting the milk? And I look up, and it's the most Karen-looking woman I've ever seen, the haircut, the pose, the attitude, you know, just like the aura around her wanted to speak to my manager. And she's just kind of staring at me. And I look at my manager and he looks at me and we look at her and we're kind of confused. And my manager says like, oh, he's just cleaning up this spill. You know, we're not wasting anything, which was the truth. But apparently this Karen did not like that answer because she starts yelling at me and my manager about how like, there's so much food that gets wasted in America, you know, and this milk is on the floor, but it's still perfectly good for someone to drink, which it's just not, you know, the amount of shoes that walk on this floor every day, I'm telling you, you don't want to drink or eat anything off of it. But then she says something incredibly dumb, which is that we should have gotten a squeegee and like put it back into a bottle to donate to somebody. And I'm literally so flabbergasted at the stupidity of that statement that like, I can't reply. I heard stupid stuff all the time in this store, you know, um, but the idea that we were going to squeegee literal spilled milk into a bottle and then give it to someone was weird. Who was gonna take that, you know? Like, hey man, do you want this floor milk that we managed to wring out the mop into a bottle for you? Like, no one's gonna want that, and on top of it, I'm not spending my time squeegeeing loose liquid back into a bottle. I've got better stuff to do. Like, imagine trying to scrape liquid off the floor into a bottle, and then taking the time to turn around and donate it. A, literally no one's gonna take it, like I said. Like, even if you tried to give it to somebody, they'd be like, I don't want floor milk. And it's disgusting. Like, you're probably gonna get someone sick and get sued if you try to scrape milk off the floor and then give it to them. But the sheer stupidity of the statement leaves me speechless, and I just don't even reply to the Karen because I'm so shocked about how dumb it is. And my manager is more confused than me, but, you know, he's the manager, so he has to do the talking, and he says something along the lines of, well, we don't donate damaged items, and the milk is on the floor, so it's contaminated now, so we can't donate it? And, like, he kind of said it like that, so it kind of sounded mean, but he wasn't trying to be mean. I think he was just genuinely confused on what she was asking. Like, he's trying to be nice, but how can you politely tell someone that they're a moron for trying to drink milk off the floor? You would think at that point, though, that Karen might have had, like, a light bulb moment and been like, oh yeah, I guess it would be pretty weird if you pulled milk off the floor, put it back in a bottle, and then gave it to somebody. But instead of having a light bulb moment and being like, oh yeah, that was dumb, she kind of starts going off 
even more and arguing with my manager, saying that, like, we need to donate to the less fortunate, you know, and the fact that we were just willing to mop up milk and waste food products showed that we didn't care about people. Which, listen, lady, it's my job at a grocery store. I'm not here to care about people. But on top of it, completely unrelated, the company did donate a ton of the food. Like, the corporation that I worked for worked with local charities to donate stuff that was about to go bad. I didn't have anything to do with it directly. You know, it wasn't my organization. But the idea that, like, we didn't donate any of our food to anyone was kind of ridiculous. And he says something along the lines of, like, well, we have a corporate policy for donating food, but we don't do spilled milk or spilled product or damaged product because it's a health hazard. And this Karen is just not letting it go, bro. You think at this point she'd realize she's not gonna win and move on to her grocery shopping. Like, don't you have Easter to shop for? But no, she just keeps lamenting us for wasting perfectly good dairy product, which, keep in mind, is milk on the floor. And finally, my manager is just kind of getting irritated and tells her, like, well, you don't have to like the store policy for it to be the store policy. There's nothing I can do. You know, you can continue with your grocery shopping. We're just cleaning up this mess. Which, you know, he wasn't trying to be mean, but, like, this lady had been sitting here arguing with us for minutes now. I'm almost cleaned up with the mess. I don't know what she wanted us to do. But whatever, my manager's kind of like, we're just cleaning this up. You know, it's not a big deal. And she storms off pissed. And I finish cleaning up the milk. I, I take the mop bucket back. I drain it. You know, I poured all the milk from the mop down the drain. Sorry, lady. I know I could have given it to somebody, but uh, alas, I didn't think anyone wanted mop bucket milk. And I go back up to bag groceries. You know, I was kind of the person where like, there's a spill. I go clean the spill. I go back to my normal job. And it was a pretty busy day, as I said. So after two hours, I had kind of forgotten about the Karen encounter. I had just like had to get to work. So I ended up going on my break two hours later. And as I'm walking from the front of the store to the bake, bake room, which is in the very back of the building, I see the manager from earlier. And he's kind of by the milk. So I just decide to make a joke to him about the Karen from earlier. It's been hours. She shouldn't be in the store. And so I see him and I say, oh, what are you going to do? Spill some milk so we can squeegee it and donate it? And it's just not a very funny joke, right? Like, it's not a big deal. I was just literally making a reference to what had happened earlier. It had just popped back into my mind and it had been hours, so I thought it was good. And my manager looks up and he smiles and he goes, yeah, that was pretty crazy, huh? I can't believe that lady wanted us to donate milk from the floor. He doesn't call her crazy. He just says the situation was crazy. But as the words, you know, that situation was crazy comes out of his mouth, I hear possibly the worst thing I could have heard in this moment, you know? And it's the Karen's voice screaming, I knew I would catch you talking about me. And like, I want to think it's a different Karen. In my head, I'm literally thinking, there's no way this lady is still here. The entire interaction was hours ago, unless she was literally trying to stay in the store and take as long as humanly possible. There's no way that this same Karen is still here. But I have my back to the noise, and I look at my manager, and I see that he's turning, like, ghost white. And sure enough, I slowly turn around, and it feels like something out of a horror movie, because as I turn around, I realize it's the same Karen. I don't know why she was still in the store, but she had stayed in the store for two hours, and I don't know how she knew where I was or that I was going to say something, but yeah, she had somehow managed to be right there when I started talking trash about how crazy she was. And listen, I was just trying to make a joke. You know, we didn't talk about customers a lot. It was just such a weird experience and me and this manager got along, so I was just trying to make a joke. And I have this thing that's like a personal thing. Not a lot of people have this problem. I hope if you do, then you'll understand, which is when I'm uncomfortable and like the situation's awkward, I just start laughing. There's nothing I can do. I just start giggling. And I obviously start laughing because the situation is weird that this lady was here for two hours to hear me chalk trash. So I'm just giggling at the situation. I haven't even said anything yet. And obviously, me laughing at the situation doesn't do a ton to calm the Karen down. I wasn't trying to be rude. It was just so uncomfortable that I'm, like, giggling just out of, like, this is so awkward. And so, you know, she starts yelling at me that, like, she's gonna have my job if I think I can walk around here and insult customers. And the fact that I think it's funny I got caught shows how immature I am. And I'm definitely laughing. And I'm not trying to be immature. Just, like, it was so uncomfortable in that moment and so awkward awkward that I just couldn't help it. And I'm still laughing as she's yelling at me saying she's going to have my job and da 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 da. And I start trying to apologize, but I'm laughing. And so it doesn't come off as genuine, you know, and to be honest, I really wasn't that sorry because like the entire situation was crazy, but I'm trying to apologize and it's just coming out really bad because I'm like, I'm so sorry. And she's like, are you? And I'm like, yeah, it's really, I'm so sorry. 
and she starts screaming that clearly I'm not sorry because I'm laughing at her. And I mean, to be fair, if I was pissed off and somebody was laughing, I probably wouldn't think they were sorry either. So I just look at my manager like, please help me, man. I have no clue what to say in this situation. I'm screwed. There's literally like tears starting to be in my eyes because I'm just laughing. And my manager looks at me and then looks at the lady and he decides to go with a, a very hard sell. And he says, we weren't talking about you. Which, you know, bless his heart, it's obviously a very awkward situation. You don't really know what to say. However, uh, you know, <laughs> what other milk lady are we possibly making fun of? You know, it's not like this happened on the regular. But he sticks with it. She's like, oh, you weren't talking about me? And he goes, no, ma'am, we were talking about a different customer, actually. And she's not buying it because it's a really, really hard thing to buy. Obviously, we were, but in that moment, I can't blame him. That's basically a pure panic decision right there. You know, it's not like... He He's thinking through how stupid this sounds. He's just like, oh crap, we were talking about a customer. The customer's right there, and uh, this is awkward. I mean, imagine calling a customer from a few hours ago crazy just to find out that they had stayed inside the store and followed you around just to get pissed. You're gonna have to do everything you can to get out of this because clearly that person is crazy. Doubling down and calling them more crazy isn't gonna fix anything because, I mean, they've clearly got nothing better to do other than just walk around a grocery store and just wait to fight with the workers, you know. But my manager tries to do the whole we're not talking about you thing and she's just not having it. Karen is, you know, dumb enough to think that we should donate floor milk for some reason but not dumb enough to think we weren't talking about her and so she starts going off to my manager about how, you know, in all of her years she has never had an experience with a manager like him who would dare to badmouth a customer blah 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 and listen dude here's the reality of working retail okay if you've ever been annoying in a store chances are the people talk trash about you after you leave it's not a saying it's like uh, the best thing in the world but yeah if you come into a store and start screaming at people they're gonna be like oh that lady was crazy huh and what made it really uncomfortable is my manager isn't a horrible guy like this is the only time I've literally ever seen him say anything about a customer and of course it's when he like is right next to her so you know he doubles down and he's like we weren't talking about you this is a big misunderstanding but I'll give you 10% off your entire order you know like here's a coupon I'm sorry for the misunderstanding and I'm sorry for upsetting you which I think is a pretty fair offer you know there's literally no way this lady is going to think that we're not talking about her but clearly she had hung out in the store for the last two hours to follow us around wait for us to say something and so giving her 10% off is probably like you know, the least you could do for her trouble. I know that sounds stupid, but hey, if you want to sit around the store for two hours and start freaking out about stuff, you can have 10% off, you know, as long as you leave. But she says that that's not good enough. That 10% offer, no, no, no. She needs free food. And my manager at this point looks at me and I'm looking at him and I'm like, this is all you, bro. And he starts telling her, like, I can't offer you free food. That's literally not something I can do. Like, I do not have the power to just let you walk out of here with your groceries for free. And she starts screaming about how like you know well apparently you and your employees can talk trash about me but you can't give me free groceries which is is kind of funny because it's like I mean yeah like that sort of and at that point I'm still laughing and I knew we're in trouble anyways so I confirmed that to her so you can talk trash about me but not give me groceries and this was stupid to say and I shouldn't have said it but I said yeah kind of and at that point you know I knew it was stupid so I look down and just start get ready to get yelled at and she starts going off did you hear what that young man just said? He just said that that's basically what you guys do here. This is why I deserve free food. I can't believe you would let him talk to a customer that way. And my manager looks at me and says, go to the break room. And I know I'm in trouble. I know I'm going to get yelled at. I'm like, all right, I'm out of here. You know, I don't need to be told twice to get out of this situation. And I start to walk away. But as I'm walking away towards the break room, which I'm close to, I like feel movement, you know? And I hear the Karen say something about like, oh, no, you don't. You're not going anywhere. And I kind of put two and two together and realize that like, well, if I'm hearing movement and Karen says I'm not going anywhere, she's probably coming at me right now. So I just take a few more steps forward, right? And as I'm like taking the steps forward a little faster, I feel something 
grab onto my shirt, but doesn't get like a hold of it. But something grabs onto the vest that I have over my shirt. And I turn around and Karen is standing there like grabbing my vest thing. And I'm like, ah oh, man, this isn't good. I'm under attack. I'm not really like afraid of the situation, but obviously it's not too great that I'm on my way to the break room and Karen's grabbing onto my shirt. And I just don't know what she's gonna do. And at that point, my manager is like getting really annoyed and he yells at the Karen. He's like, let go of him now. Which to be fair, the Karen does let go. You know, she lets go of me and I kind of take some steps away just because I don't know what this lady's about to do. But she turns away from me and turns to my manager and she goes, are you going to defend that worker? And he goes, I'm not saying what he said was right, but you can't grab him. Which, you know, that's his job as the manager is to protect his employees. And her response to that is to literally swing on my manager instead. Now, I'm not saying that Karen is out here like Mike Tyson, you know. I'm not saying that she absolutely laid him out, but I will say she definitely had some speed to her punches because she connects the first punch then another fist comes in and then back to the original fist and she gets three punches in in about five seconds and they're not enough to like knock my manager out but it's definitely enough to like discombobulate him a little bit and he kind of like shakes his head and just looks at her and goes did you just hit me like he literally can't believe what just happened and Karen says yeah and I'll do it again and at that point, you know, I kind of start to get between them. He's backing up. Random people from the store start to get between us and are like, whoa, you're way out of line, you know? And they start telling her, like, who do you think you are to be smacking people? And she starts explaining that we had been talking trash or whatever, and, like, none of the other customers around are understanding. Because, yeah, even if they are, it's not a sense that you can, like, just smack a random dude in the face. And she, instead of, like, you know, apologizing or leaving at that point, tries to double down, even though everyone's telling her she was out of line and she's like well I wouldn't have hit you if you would have donated the milk and I'm like we're back to the milk you know I thought we were on the fact that we were making fun of you thing but she's still upset about the fact that we didn't donate this damn floor milk and my manager at that point has just had enough and he looks at the lady and he goes look you need to get out of here because I am calling the cops and at that point she doesn't need to be told more you know I don't know if the cops knew her she was if she didn't want to like see her old friends or whatever but she doesn't need a warning other than that as soon as my manager is like you got to go because you just hit me you know she's out and she literally starts like sprinting out of the store she leaves her cart there you know the cart that had apparently been rolling around the store for two hours and she just dips out of there which you know I will say pretty quick to abandon the cart considering how much work went into it this was like the longest grocery shopping trip I had literally ever seen a customer do just hours of walking around the cart itself there was frozen items from when she had first come in the store the frozen items had literally like stopped being frozen that's how long she was just walking around the store and at that point she's gone and I go up to my manager and I'm like are you okay man what was that and he's like I'm fine are you okay and I'm like yeah she didn't hit me she just grabbed my vest so like are you okay and he says yeah but we're gonna have to go talk to the store manager and the store manager was the guy like in charge of the whole store this was just the the front like floor manager guy I don't know if that makes sense if you ever worked in a grocery store you know there's like levels to managers there's manager above a manager above a manager but you know we go in and we tell him what happened and of course the store manager is giving me crap for saying the comment and da 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 and I'm the first to admit you know I shouldn't have done it I should have just kept my mouth shut you know I'm not gonna sit here and defend what I said but at the same time I didn't think that she was gonna play Mike Tyson punch out with my manager you know I thought I might just get written up and that's gonna be the end of it regardless the store manager starts like going over the security footage so he can kind of see what happened and he starts looking in so he can make a report about it and sure enough we're watching this lady just kind of walk around the store for two hours after the milk incident and this lady is basically stalking my manager like she's staying just far enough back where she can see him and hear him but like is trying to not you know attract attention to herself and she's like looking at stuff on the shelves and putting it back like just literally staying in the store trying to listen to him and listen I get that we shouldn't have talked trash about the customer yeah whatever but who has that much time bro like she literally is just standing around a grocery store following my manager around waiting for him to say something about her crazy behavior about the milk just so she can be like you should donate the milk no no even if we shouldn't have talked about the customer you know donating the floor milk still a stupid idea I will stand by that till the end of time I'm not squeegeeing liquid back into a bottle and donating it to anyone and it's so ridiculous watching this all go down that even our manager starts to make fun of it a little bit you know he's still angry at us because you're not supposed to talk about customers especially on the floor but he's like okay yeah clearly neither of you thought she was gonna be in the store and 
clearly neither of you thought she was gonna start throwing hands at people, you know? I did get in a little bit more trouble than my manager because he literally did nothing wrong, but like even our, our store manager is looking at this situation like this is wild. So he watches the fight go down and at that point he's like, all right, we're gonna ban her from the store. They didn't have an incredible picture of her, you know, security cameras for whatever reason are still in like 360p, dude, you know? Sure, my iPhone can shoot a 4K video, but hey, security cameras, 360p is apparently all you need. And he prints out a picture and hands it to security and says that like, you know, if this lady comes back, she's to be removed, blah, 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 blah. She attacked a manager, be on the lookout, yada, yada, yada. And honestly, that should have been the end of it, right? Because like, whatever, you're just kind of banned from the store. But about a week later, I come into work and I see my favorite manager, the one I'd been punched in the face, and he goes, Ryan, she came back. And I'm instantly like, no way, no, she did not. I literally could not believe it. And listen, the way that being banned from the store works, like, yeah, okay, technically you're banned, but for the most part, we're not walking around, like, checking IDs and making sure if you come back into the store and you calmly shop and no one sees you, you're pretty okay. Even if we see you, if you're calm and you're not freaking out, uh, we're probably not gonna say anything. But apparently she had come in wearing sunglasses and a hat trying to hide her identity, which, you know, we're not the FBI. Like I said, if you come in and don't cause a scene, no one's gonna notice. But she comes in, you know, all incognito mode. She's got sunglasses. She's got the hat, keeping it low key. And she sees my manager. And you would think she would be like, ah, the last thing I should do is go talk to the guy that I punched because he'll definitely recognize me. And especially in combination with the hat and sunglasses, it looked like she was supposed to have been laying low, or that's what he told me anyways. Like, if you wanted to lay low, you just wouldn't say anything. But I guess she couldn't help herself because she ends up walking up to my manager and starts yelling at him, asking if he had made a new policy for donating damaged goods. And my manager is like, wait, are you the lady complaining about the spilled milk? Which is hilarious, you know, never cry over spilled milk or whatever, and here she was crying about it. And she confirms it. She's like, yeah, I'm back. Did you think that you were never gonna see me again? Well, think again. Da 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 da. I'm here until you change your policy. And as she's going off about how she's back and he's never gonna get rid of her, my manager literally just gets on the intercom and goes, security, and security comes over and he's like, yeah, this lady's banned from the store. And she's like, I'm banned from the store? And he goes, yeah, you know you're banned from the store. And has security escort her out, which is especially funny because that literally like never happened, bro. Like I said, for the most part, if we ban someone, nobody knows who you are, right? The literally only way you have to get kicked out and embarrassed by the security and thrown out by in front of everyone was to go up to the manager and try to fight him again. And listen, it's just not that deep, dude. We can't give milk from the floor to people. Even if we could, I don't think we would because it's just kind of like not cool to be feeding people floor milk. I really do not understand her obsession with this, bro. I really do not. Either way, Super Karen ended up getting removed from the store. That was the last time we ended up seeing her. I don't know if she did come back and like not fight anyone or what. I'm gonna assume after she got removed by security, she just found a different store to shop at. But all of this could have been avoided by, you know, A, not caring about the fact that I was mopping up spilled milk, or B, just not attacking the manager. And listen, like I said, I shouldn't have said anything, da 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 da. I was just trying to make a stupid joke to my manager about the situation from earlier. But yeah, either way, I hope wherever that Karen is, she ended up figuring it out, you know? Maybe for all I know, she opened the world's first ever milk charity that takes milk from the floor and gives it to hungry people. If that is the case, I would love to see uh, some scientific data on how sick everyone who drinks the milk gets. But hey, whatever floats your boat, Karen, I just hope you're happier out there. And I really really hope that you haven't decided to take your uh, combat skills on any more managers since then. Regardless, guys, I think that's going to do it for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed. I just thought this would be right up your alley and something you guys would enjoy. So if you did, you should press the like button. Seriously, it helps the video do better. So go press the like button right now. I'll count to three. And while you're down there, you might as well comment and subscribe and turn on notifications. I post videos like this pretty often. So if you don't want to miss out, subscribe. And if you really want to listen to these offline without gameplay, whatever floats your boat, I do post them on Spotify. That link will be down in the description down below. So if you want to check that out, listen offline without gameplay, like I said, that's an option. But uh, yeah, on that note, guys, I think that'll really do it for the video. Don't get anyone pregnant. If you do, make sure they're hot. I'm going to go squeegee some milk into a bottle and donate it to a charity now. I'll see you guys next time. I'm out. Peace.